Well, hello, everyone. It is I, the real Randy Chavez, coming at you today with a VV Omi update video. Guys, if you're new, welcome. For not welcome back, I love you all. Everyone say, where's Dashi? Well, Dashi is, uh, again, currently protecting the house, but Dashi is, uh, send, sends his love. We have quite a bit of stuff to go over today. Um, I, <laughs> we'll start off with Omi, and I made a video yesterday, but I uploaded about 23 hours ago, then Gwen Stacy controversy on Vivi and how much to get Omi on M-E-X-C. So I, oh, oh, hey, oh, I don't, I don't want that. Let me get that out of there. Uh, yeah, how much to get Omi on MEXE? And then um, about a half hour ago, uh, we have a, let's see where I got it here. We happen to have a uh, wallet, a wallet which has, let's see here, about 32 billion tokens. 32 billion tokens. Okay, is that the Akomi business development wallet? I think it is. I think it is. And what did they just do? So in a, a wallet that had 32 billion OMI, you know, it's likely the business development wallet, goes and sent about 73 million tokens, or about $56,000, to what is looks like it's MEXC. Now, MEXC, I did a video uh, yesterday on this, saying what do they have to do in order to go and get on there? So I, I went and brought over uh hoge h-o-g-e was the other token that i was talking about that's the example i was going and using now a personal listing uh would be ten thousand dollars in u.s marketing uh the campaign the kickstarter would be fifty thousand uh, dollars and then they would have a or, and and that's for an a tier list a proposal b listing and again this is for hoge this is not for omi but again we're just kind of uh gonna go sorry. we're just kind of gonna assume we're gonna plug in hoge for omi or omi for hoge Proposal B, proposal B listing is 10,000 USDT uh, marketing and the campaign Kickstarter would be 20,000 USDT and $30,000 worth of tokens. Uh, if you go over to their campaign, what they actually chose, it would have been $60,000 in liquidity of the Hoge, uh, of the Hoge token. And how much did, did uh, they just receive? They received almost about $60,000 uh, worth of the OMI token. So it does go in line with what Hoge did a few months ago uh, for MEXC or for that type of offer. Now, on top of that, you would have a uh, $10,000 listing fee, uh, $50,000 per Kickstarter, and then you have to pay about $380 a month for 24 months. That would roughly go to be about um, $69,000 in spent money. You know the fifty thousand Kickstarter, the ten thousand listing fee, and then the um, uh, others, uh, uh, other nine k. So this seems like it's going to be a really nice one, uh, and that should come in. Probably if this is correct, I don't know if this is something that is. Uh, uh, the team hasn't confirmed it, and unless the team confirms it, it is all hearsay. Hearsay. It is all not confirmed until the team confirms it. This is just. Chavez kind of trying to connect the dots and the dots may be there. The dots may not be there. I don't know. Um, comment down below if you think this is it. Comment down below if you think they uh, they are doing it. Uh, comment down below if you think I'm crazy. Um, I feel like the Joker in Dark Knight. I'm not. not. Maybe maybe sometimes a little bit, but uh, this would be a very good. This would be a very good thing if we get MEXC, MEXC because you don't need to go and kyc for them on transactions under three thousand dollars i think so if you don't have to go and and do that uh then americans can actually use this exchange so they they could change that in the future where they say like hey we want to abide by you know these regulations we see uh binance has, you know had to pay this four billion dollar lawsuit we have coinbase that's currently under uh investigation kucoin's under investigation now maybe they want to go and tighten up their ship and if they do that, then maybe Americans might not be able to go and uh, and, and do that anymore. But again, uh, this is just speculation here. Uh, let's see what Omi's been doing on the day. And let's see how it's reacting to this news. Omi on the day is down about 0.2%. So it's relatively flat at 000775. 
866,000 in volume. And then you have, uh, so again, not, not a ton of volume. We actually had a bunch of volume yesterday because people were selling into those buy orders. Um, where's, the, where's the low, where's the bottom? If this news is true, it may have very well been, um, that news is true, it may, may very well have reached the bottom already. Uh, compare only to the rest of the uh, top 10, Bitcoin and ETH are, are up 1.5% each. Solana's up 1.2%, BNB's pretty flat, Lido staked up 1.4, XRP up 1.4, Dogecoin up 10% today, man. Pro the Doge, the Slum Doge Millionaire is having a good day. Cardano's flat, AVAX is up 0.7%, Shiba Inu's up 3%. And I'm going a little past the top 10 here, just kind of giving you relatively flat, a little bit of gains with the exception of Doge. Doge got uh, Doge went up huge. I don't know why. Someone comment down below if uh, you know why. Super chat from Maxwell. Then beer money looks like MEXE is not available in the US from what I understood. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I'm an idiot. Um, I think they are able to be in the US, but I think only you because you don't have to KYC under, I think, a $3,000 transaction. Uh, let me go and ask real quick. Um, all right. Blah, 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 blah. Not officially. No, it was very confusing. It is common for people in the US to use. Um, this course always immediately send tokens out with, um, okay. No KYC under three, three K transaction. All right. Let me just transaction. Right. Question mark. Um, Omar saying that MEXC is not good for USA. Again, I, I think people do use it. Um, cause I have somebody saying that they have used it. But let, let me um, let me ask some other people here. Um, oh, is Danny the Bull? Um, is he? Oh no, maybe he just shared that. Um, VV, all right, so you have VV Viral saying on a scale of one to ten, how confident are you? Uh, this guy DVMMO says I would say nine out of ten. Um, let's see what else. What other people are saying here? Um, crypto Cur Joker saying MEXB is a very popular exchange for hunting down early low cap projects before they get listed elsewhere. Far more popular than you think. Yeah, agreed. I was literally looking at this exchange. So the reason why I made that video yesterday was because I was looking at that exchange for another DeFi project. I was like, okay, what's it going to take for us to get listed on there? And then I, I figured I'd just put that in the video. Oh, hey guys, you know, in case we want to get listed, just having to be coincidence. Um, uh, Biscuits just posted the Hong Kong Securities and Futures Commission, SFC, alongside the local police force, has issued a warning regarding a fraudulent entity posing as a cryptocurrency exchange, MEXC. Imposters allegedly deceiving potential investors and siphoning funds. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, that's from Cointelegraph on February 10th, 2024. So, I mean, I would think in my, let me just make sure I'm looking at this real quick. Yeah, I, I would think that the team, I mean, you have a blockchain team that, that Akomi has and then the fleet of lawyers. So I think that there is a, a reason why they're choosing MEXE despite the Cointelegraph issue. Let me go and screenshot that for a minute but we have a we have a big that could be an issue i i mean mexc has done a lot of this they have a lot of projects like a lot of things are posted on there and again i think i think probably through another state oh yeah so it, it's it's not good for new york uh nothing's good for new york new york freaking sucks um but I think it is good for some people in the US. Um, yeah, VPNs, I guess, as well. But let me ask to make sure to see the. All right, no one's answered that yet. <laughs> you can swing trade this, honestly. <laughs> um, yeah, let me go and get to the rest of the news here before we go down this rabbit hole. Uh, let's see what we got here. Going over the. What's it? Yesterday, yesterday. 
Shout out to Scary Sea Monster. Scary Sea Monster has reached level 100, over 5 million MCP points. Good for him. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, X-Men 97, Rare Mint 616, sold for 10x the floor instantly. Uh, there, that's not the only uh, special mint that had sold in the last 24 hours, which is heckin' wild. Um, I, I finally got something I was looking for today. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, one of the Vincent Zerzolo stuff, one of the new users, the crypto stuff, project. <laughs> oh, damn, VV Valley is going hard on him. I saw so, I saw an emo couple walking around the other day. That was that was very nice. Um, shout out to them. Uh, you have, take a closer look at costumes variant from R. Dowderman for Avengers Forever uh, 2021. Number two, this is VV uh, Digital Collectibles. Going on saying this one of one Marvel artwork is available via silent auction until Friday, 29 March at 12 p.m. I'm going to guess that's uh, Pacific Standard Time, uh, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to go and uh, uh, and put that for. Uh, so that is tomorrow. So you have about uh, was that 18 hours left on that. That'll sell for a couple grand. Uh, I don't know exactly how much. I talked with Lori yesterday about Marvel Rivals. So Marvel Rivals had this really, really cool trailer for like a third person shooter. Like you're playing as Iron Man, you're playing as Doctor Strange, you're playing as Spider-Man and you're webbing up and you're shooting people and it's, and it's heckin' awesome. Um, but what did you notice about on the bottom there at the end of the trailer? Well, it says Steam. Yeah, Steam is really cool. And then it has Epic Games right next to that Steam. Why does that matter? Well. And Disney just partnered with Epic Games through their, uh, you know, trying to get their metaverse with, you know, with Fortnite. And then you have Marvel that's coming in with Epic Games as well. Epic Games has that partnership with Cavernous that is also building the VPverse. So is this going to be a, another metaverse for Marvel? And is this going to be something that uh, can also be interoperable with, with the VPverse? I, I, I don't know. I mean, it all does seem connected. So maybe. So we shall see. We shall we shall see. Um, I'll keep y'all posted on that. Uh, deleted that. Uh, there was a all right. So we had a little bit of. I went over yesterday in my video the the community or some of the community and hater sentiment on Ghost Spider, on uh, Gwen Stacy, and I went over that a lot of people did not like it, and they were a lot, those people that I had. I had mentioned they said that they were skipping it entirely. And my counter argument was, I get it. Is it the greatest looking collectible? When you take the mask off, no. When you when you put the mask on, yeah, she looks incredible. Uh, when you take the mask off, no, I get it. Vivi has an issue with faces. And then I said that it doesn't really matter. I mean, should we expect better? Yes, there are 3D premium digital collectibles. We should expect the top of the top. When I say it doesn't matter, I mean that people are still going to buy her anyway. Like that's still Gwen Stacy. That's still a premium collectible. She's still animated. Um, it's still like the first full figure we have of her. I mean, we, we do have Ghost Spider, um, you know, on the Marvel Mighties. That's first appearance Gwen Stacy. That's great. You know, but a lot of people really do like that, you know, that 3D collectible. Um, so, yeah. Uh, moving on here. Uh, uh, and then a lot of people today went and they got on and they said, hey, you know what? Um, I still like her. And, and a lot of the Gwen Stacy lovers are just kind of like, hey, I'm buying it anyway. So, you know, we'll see what happens to that. Uh, VV Magic is going to uh, D23 Fan Expo 2024. D23 is basically Disney's version of Comic-Con. Now, VV Magic that typically doesn't do anything unless it's like, really big like yeah going to paris you know because there's disney paris over there going to uh going to texas for the, for that uh south by southwest and that happened to be one of the hugest things that vv's ever announced so vv magic posting going to d23 what does that mean well it could just mean that she's just a big disney fan and she's excited to go yeah that makes sense yeah i i, I believe that she's um uh that could definitely be a reason I also think that it might be possible that she's going to report on some other news that might happen there as well. I don't know. This is just speculation here. Uh, just a possibility. Uh, hang, hang with me. Ask Renner, have you gotten into the VV verse? I have not yet. 
uh, I'll, I'll get to it when, when everybody else is invited, same as me. Um, Marvel Entertainment says, uh, Marvel Rivals is one of our most ambitious game development projects. Since conceptualization of the game and throughout our collaboration, our Marvel team has poured our hearts and souls into this project, and we are thrilled to work the incredible team at NetEase Games to help deliver the ultimate superhero-based PvP shooter. Um, all right. If you try to sign into mexc.com from New York, it says your IP and nationality indicate that you're located in a country slash region where MXC server services are restricted. According to MXC's uh, terms of service, MXC does not provide services to the user's country region where you are located. If you have any questions, kindly contact MXC customer service. Okay, so that is at least in New York, if not in the whole US. I haven't had other boy text me. Um, Oh, I got another friend that is also in New York, says, I've done more than 3K, no KYC. Um, let me see what he says about this then. All right, how do I? All right, so he's done more than uh, than 3K, no KYC. So maybe they upped it that you don't have, maybe that's like 5K or 10K, I don't know. Like, um, How do I get around this? And then hopefully... Well, no, but yeah, I got a straight fire for that one. Um, special Mint Darth Vader comic, the number 1977, sold for 1977. That is, oh my God, that is just epic. Um, Darth Vader number one, and it was a common as well. But again, it doesn't really matter the rarity. Like there's only one Mint number 1977. So again, it doesn't really matter uh, the rarity. Uh, and that's just obviously when A New Hope came out. Uh, <laughs> Weth had a had a post yesterday asking, "Will Omi miss this bull run?" And out of 750 votes, 63% of people said yes. I want to hit y'all with some tough love right here, and I don't know how many of those people are here right now. Anyone who answered yes is either very new, or they're they're just just new to investing in general, or they're futters or haters, or or they are not new. They have all the information that everybody else has, and, and they're just interpreting it incorrectly because they are a lower IQ than what you need to be successful in this. Um, I, I mean, what what could make Omi miss the bull run? I mean, I, I don't think anything at this point. I mean, they already have a big, they already had, Marvel just handed them the keys to the comic book store and said, hey, here, it's yours. There's There's nothing that goes and and makes them miss the bull market, unless like you have a black swan event, World War Three type of scenario. Um, I, I mean, we're, all, we're already on BitGet. Looks like we're already going to get on MEXC. Um, and, and again, these are stuff that you get before you get on bigger exchanges. Where the heck is my pizza? Sorry, I ordered pizza a while ago, and it's been like 45 minutes. Sorry, moving on here. Um, but but again, I'm just reporting that 63% of people out of those 750 said Omi will miss this bull run. That is 472 and a half people. Round that up to 473. Uh, mint number 66, uh, Stormtrooper, uh, sold to uh, the Husk Show. Uh, and speaking of Husk Show, you had Clever Jerk go and post this photo before. Let me go and give that to you real quick. Clever Jerk had posted this photo having the number 100, 200, 300, 500, 600, 700, and 800 of the uh, Stormtroopers. What is missing is number uh, number 400 because Husk Show has that. Um, Clever Jerk is such a beast. I love that man. Moving on. Um, yeah, gold, so, all right, gold, silver logo. But before we get to... Uh, before we get to questions, before we get to other stuff, why the VV Gold logo will be tens of thousands of dollars. I know I'm skipping a bunch of stuff here, but it's gotta, it's gotta be said. It's gotta be done. Let's see where I'm at. Where did I put this on? Biden today uh, posted a star-studded New York City fundraiser with uh, former President Obama and former President Clinton. Uh, former President Donald Trump is is in New York as well, but he's going to a, um, a funeral for a NYPD officer. Um, but Biden is using this. And again, this is not political. I'm not getting political here. 
Biden is using today to host a star-studded New York City fundraiser with President Obama and President Clinton. Why, like Chavez, what, what is this? This has nothing to do with the VV Gold and Silver Logo. Yes, it does. Because First Lady Jill Biden is going to host an after party for 500 guests. The president's son, Hunter Biden, and his family are also attending. How much do you think these tickets are going to be? Take a guess. I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you a couple seconds with that. The tickets are priced between a quarter million and half a million dollars. I will repeat that. The tickets to get into this event. Oh, God. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Here I go. I'll see you there. Okay. Here I go. Oh, Here I go. Finally, the pizza I ordered like an hour ago is, is, uh, is there. All right. So what was I talking about? I was talking about Jill Biden, the first lady, hosting a after party for 500 guests. President's son, Hunter Biden, his family are also attending. How much are tickets again? Between a quarter million and $500,000. Why does this matter? Because that shows you how much people are willing to spend just to be in the same vicinity as the whereabouts of people they love and enjoy, or or maybe they don't. Maybe they just want to do that for the gram. Maybe they want to do that for the. Maybe they want to do that just just for social media points. For a hundred thousand dollars, guests can get a picture with all three presidents, with star photographer Annie Leibovitz taking the snaps. President Biden was joined in the Air Force One flight to all right, yeah, blah 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 blah. Okay. However you feel about the Bidens, the Clintons, the um, everyone else that's there, the Obamas, people are spending between a quarter million and five hundred thousand dollars to be there just to get in that same vicinity. And for an extra hundred K, they can get a photo. Ooh, well, that's a lot. When you talk about the VV Gold Silver logo, you have a ton of people that just love the crap out of uh, just VV in general. They love the crap out of David. Dan, the entire team, I can't tell you how many people contact me to try to hang out. And sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It really depends. I'm just so, so heckin' uh, busy. Um, and, and take someone more likable. Take someone like, I don't know, like BB Magic, my collectibles, you know, positive. Like take someone that that is um, people would pay to be around, not including the the celebrities we have already, you know, we have Andre Jick, we have Pro the Doge, we have, we literally have President Biden's campaign manager that has a gold silver logo, which is insane. Um, you know, we have Josh Emmett there, and there's a couple of other people that haven't shown their faces yet, but they will. How much are people going to, going to pay in order to get close to just Dan and David each year, just Dan and David, not including the network, not including the network that's worth millions of dollars tens of millions, if not soon to be hundreds of millions. People are going to go and spend tens of thousands of dollars, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars on a ticket, which is a gold and silver VV logo, in order to go and spend time with just David and Dan every single year, multiple times per year. This, this, this is the gift that keeps on giving. The utility with that is insane. Uh, so yeah, this is a... This is, a, this is a really big one. Um, gold, silver logo. I really want to get another, but I, I just... When Omida NFT comes, if it stays down here, I likely will. But we shall, uh, we shall see. I'll, I'll keep you all posted. Uh, how did we accidentally... <laughs> yes. All right, let me look to see if the MEXC thing is... Need a VPN. Okay, yeah, VPN. Um, VPN to sign up. 
VPN to sign up on the uh, Mexi. Sign up for a new account with the VPN active. Helps create an email address with the VPN. So it knows what country the email, so it knows what country the email is tied to is not the USA. So this is, again, I am, I'm not going to go out here and condone and tell everyone, yo, guys, go get a VPN. I, I actually have to tell you not to do that because um, I don't want me to tell you all to commit any any fraud or any crime. So I actually have to tell you guys to not go and and use a VPN for the email address so that it doesn't tell you, so that it doesn't know that you're not in the USA. Do not do that. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, I can't stop you from doing it if you want to buy Omi while in the US, but but I'm officially saying no. Um, possible, there's so many OMI holders that are USA based. I, I, I don't know how many OMI holders are USA based. I, I would say a very, very large minority percent, 30%, maybe more. Uh, once they roll out more utility for the token, a lot of these exchanges will get a lot of use. Um, <laughs> there's a cheap one. Um, there's a cheap one out there. Now, uh, moving on here. Where uh, where was I? All right, I've gone on about 26 minutes. I'll go over the rest of the news before I now that I've gone over that. Oh God, where was I? Okay, VV logo. New never settle. Good morning. <laughs> oh, uh, David, you had reposted VV Digital Collectible saying first woman. Peter Parker ever truly loved throwing some shade at Mary Jane over there, but uh, yeah, Gwen Stacy is pretty awesome. You know, I will not be at NFT NYC. Unfortunately, I have uh, a lot of other stuff to do. But I, I unfortunately will not be at NFT NYC. Sorry, guys. Next time. Um, Earth Two. Congratulations to the lucky winners of the Earth Two V One Pre Alpha Invite competition that was held on YouTube and X. Over fifteen thousand dollars worth of land has been gifted to two hundred lucky winners. Um, that Earth Two white paper is going to be released over the next couple of days. Shane has said multiple times over the last year that we would get it in Q one of twenty twenty four. It's a couple of days away. It's obviously not going to be the twenty eighth. There's a couple hours left. We have the twenty ninth, the thirtieth, or the thirty first. Within the next seventy two hours. We are likely going to get that Essence um, white paper. And then in Q2, we will likely get launched on an exchange. So, so yeah, um, that's going to be really big. I've got 40-something thousand Essence, like 41,000 Essence, maybe 42. Um, yeah, that's, that's going to be really big. I, I can't wait for that. Uh, nope, not that special. Oh, God, we got a... Spider Verse number one, ultra rare comic, mint number 2019, sold on Vivi for $2,986 hairs, just under 3K, mint number 2019. The current floor for that collectible at the time of sale was $20, so it's 149X the original floor. That is almost 150 times the original floor. That scared me. Um, yeah, you, you have a lot, of, a lot of really big sales. You have Top Mint 10 that owns 1% of the total supply of Spider-Man number one comic on BB Official. That is 300 comics. That is just, that is absolutely insane. I, I don't even know what, what to think of that. X-Men 97 was watched by over 4 million people. The animated show becomes Disney's biggest animated show since 2021. X-Men 97 number one comic had had a floor price of like 43. I think it has like a floor price that's even higher now. Let's uh, let's see what it is. Um, X-Men. And then, oh God, the comic, there's 71 of these comics. All right, hold on, number 97. Uh, Holiday, Ultimate X-Men. All right, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll get this, number 94. Uncanny X-Men, nope. Um, should just be X Men number ninety seven, or is it X Men? It's not X Men number one, right? Uh, Jonathan Hickman, Dawn of X Men. That's a really good one, but that's not the one I'm talking about. 
Okay, there we go. Number one, X Men ninety seven. The common is now seventy four ninety five. That is seventy five doll hairs. That is that is a ton. Um, X Men ninety seven is going pretty hard. So, like I said, the common variant, um, and and then the secret rare. Let's see what the secret rare is at. Oh my God! It's a thousand dollars for the secret rare. It's no wonder why X Men ninety seven number one is sold out so quickly on VV Comics. The show has already been watched by more than four million people worldwide, and with only a thousand editions, nine hundred eighty of the show's comic book available globally, creates a situation where demand far exceeds the available supply. Here's the thing: there's only four hundred copies of the standard cover created in digital format, making the comic even more difficult to obtain at a reasonable price. The numbers show that the floor price in the standard common is rising. Secret Rare of the variant has gone up a couple hundred over the last couple hours. Um, pretty insane. Anyway, it's been 30 minutes. Oh, do I eat some food? Do I eat some food? Do I eat some food? I will wait. I will answer your comments first. This is water, by the way. Bill Garter with the first like. Bill Garter with Omi is my homie. Same here, fam. Same here. We had a bunch of stuff to celebrate today. Born out of the Suns. Omi is our homie. Agreed. What's up, Connor? I was Randy, I hope you are well. Two questions. What did you eat today? Uh, I had some salami, some cheese, two um, uh, nutrition drinks. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, salami, cheese, and nutrition drinks. I got, I got some pizza over there. But yeah, that's, uh, that was the diet today. What's your honest opinion on what Omi will do in the next six months? Seems like it never moves. But deep down, I feel 12 cents. Uh, 12 cents is, I think, too much for the next six months. Um, I, I would say, well, well, what are we at? End of end of March, so April, May, June, July. So end of September, you're looking at the end of Q3. End of Q3, I would say double zero seven eight. Between double zero seven, double zero eight. Um, I'm assuming at that point, we have only to NFT. We have phase one of VVverse. We have some type of burn mechanism for Omi. Uh, we would, at the end of Q3, we would also likely have um, Omi to bronze ticket. And then we would have, I would say, two or three more exchanges. Because it looks like we're getting M uh, Mexi. And I'm going to say two, uh, another one or two on top of that by the end of Q3. What else am I, am I thinking over here? Um, I, I think only phase one of the VVverse. But I think there's going to be multiple ways to burn that Omi um, in the VVverse, in the app. I, I think at that point, a lot, I mean, a lot of big drops, were, scarce drops were to happen. That's just going to cause everyone to just to just uh, drop their MCP points. Uh, and I think a lot of them are, a lot of people are going to start burning that Omi. I also think you have Omi being available on the web app as well. So I, I would say, yeah, the, the old highs from 2022 of 007 to 008. And, and then if, but that's if the narrative hasn't hit. If the narrative of digital collectibles has hit by that point, which I don't know if it will, that could, that could send it to, to a couple cents. Um, so, so the final answer is really going to be contingent on if that narrative has hit yet. Jeeva's Omi is down, sentiment is low. So then 10 cents uh, base case is, yeah, eight to 10 cents is still my base case. Um, that, that has not changed. Prince So is, do you believe in the conspiracy theory that KFC changed their name back in the 90s because the Fed said what they sold didn't legally qualify as chicken because it was a mutant, super obese chicken? I didn't know that they changed their name in the 90s. Let's, let's learn today. Let's look this up. Um, did KFC change their recipe no name in in the 90s in 1991 the kfc name was officially adopted although it had already been widely known by that initialism kyle craig president of kfc us admitted the change was an attempt to dis distance the chain of the unhealthy connotations of fried but what was it beforehand um Early 1990s saw a number of successful major product launches, including spicy hot wings, popcorn chicken. Oh, popcorn chicken. So, dude, bowling alley popcorn chicken. Oh, 
y'all don't even know. All right, what is, oh God, that's okay. Also commonly referred to by its historical name, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, I guess like it was, it was just referred to as Kentucky Fried Chicken and then they just shortened it to KFC. Um, uh, I mean, I guess they wanted to get away from fried, but, but yeah, I, I would say, well, I don't know if did KFC switch that or did Yum Brand switch that. All right, I'm I'm gonna wash my hands real quick and I'm gonna I want to get this bread. I'm good and feeling alright, baby. I'ma have the perfect night of my life, and wherever it takes me. Yeah. You know I'm good, yeah. I'm good and all right. Oh. <laughs> all right, sorry. I'm gonna hold this. Um. Oh, made in labs, huh? Maybe. All right. How do I open this freaking thing? Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, the pepperoni stuff. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, this. Oh, this looks so good. Y'all don't even know. Vladimir Columbus says this isn't confirmed yet, but someone on X said Omi might be listed on X. Oh, uh, yeah. I actually just went over that for like the first, uh, like the first couple minutes of the video. Could have made the post. I saw Carlos Cavs. Did they? Post address transactions. Um, I I found the address transactions. I assume they did as well. Yeah, he claims that. Yep, we're so back. <laughs> Every other exchange so far. I mean, it is pretty well used, especially if Americans can use it. Now, granted, Americans can only use it via VPN, which y'all y'all shouldn't do because that's illegal. But if you wanted to do it, you could. Mm. Oh my god. That's incredible. Mm-hmm. That is true. R Bear, what's going on? Say, hey Randy, let's go. Hi, R Bear. Hey, my meow. Omar Kasaj just saying hi fam. What's up, Omar? Jordan Riz, thank you for being a member. Saying yo, yo. Crazy Dan 420, thank you for also being a member. Says Maxi is another good step forward for a Comey. I agree. I agree. Stan. Fan. Binance, merch, and gadgets for Vivi. Yeah, I, I would. Binance, I don't think we're going to get for quite a while. Um, merch would love it. Gadgets would love it. Photo Prius is missing Dashi. Yeah, everyone misses Dashi. I miss Dashi. Photo says, I remember when I went to go see Spider Verse 2 in theaters. And Gwen was on the stream. There was a group of teenagers who were, for lack of better words, happy. To Gwen, <laughs> Gwen and would yell, she's so hot. <laughs> well, as soon as she got on the on the screen, did they all say smash? Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, when you have pretty blonde girls, yeah, teenage boys are going to be, you know, teenage boys. <laughs> Theater full of people is great. Jordan really says, let's go, Mexi. Still a decent exchange. Then owe me to NFT soon. Oh, yeah. Mark my words. We will likely get Omi to NFT in Q2. I repeat, we will likely get Omi to NFT in Q2. I'm going to say June. Could be beforehand, but I'm going to say June. It's what I was just, I'd say plausible. I'd say so as well. Hey, Maxwell. Thank you for the super chat. Beer money looks like Mexi is not available in the U.S. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, it's not. You are correct, sir. But people can use it via a VPN. No KYC, you know, if they want to. But you know that that's illegal. Mm-hmm. 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 Fast from Felix is out. I have Marvel comic number one for six K. Nah. Like, like if I had 6K, I would, just, I would just buy more Omi. Like, you know. Turtle Land says, VV should partner. Different in real-life comic book stores. Person spends $20 in the store. They get a voucher for a, bron- a bronze ticket or Omi reception VV app to cross-promote both entities. Um, well, could they do that? They could. And would that help? people get into VV and Omi. 
yes, it would introduce some of the people that already buy, you know, that are already buying comic books physically. Some of those people might check that out, but they have to pay for it whether the people check it out or not. And that seems like a very expensive way to do that. I think there are other ways that they can advertise for them. Like, I don't know if they need to do any crazy big advertisements. I think influencer marketing is going to be the biggest thing. I don't know when we get that. But or referral codes. Referral codes is probably going to be the biggest thing. Hey, you know, go go buy some gems or go buy these things with my code. Yeah, that's going to be the biggest thing. Maybe not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Saying the article was stating that a fraudulent exchange has been posing as a real. Oh, OK. All right. So it wasn't that MEXC was fraudulent. It's that there was a entity or group that was posing as. OK, so, yeah, that's fine. I'm not worried about that. Yeah, yeah, did. Uh -huh. Be sure you're using the real exchange. Yes. Stan has definitely need to partner with local comic book stores through geofencing tech for exclusive comic drops that would create foot traffic. That'd be really good for comic book stores because people would go to them again. But that seems like it would it would cost a lot of money to create that tech unless they piggyback on like Niantic for Pokemon Go, like that geocaching thing, and then they just use that map for the local comic book stores as well. Um, but again, that just seems like a lot, you know, just for some of the foot traffic for some of the people at local comic book stores. And it seems to benefit comic book stores more than it would be the Anomi. Games are on the... Yeah, yeah, there, there are, but that's not false. Like, Marvel Rivals is still via Epic Games as well, so it's not false at all. Switch out. Went to the site. I have a hundred region was restricted. Yeah, yeah. You would need a VPN if you want to do it. Mm hmm Stan says, is multi-layer interoperability on the VV roadmap? Having VV on Cardano or Solana would be epic. I don't know. I mm, that'd be a question for the team. I'm not. I'm yeah, I'm not. They haven't officially came out and said that. That might privately be a thing, but officially they haven't said anything like that. Just check their official site. Not good for USA. Okay, yeah, not good. Not good legally, anyway. Um, you say and use Mexi, huh? So suck. Um, so yeah, again, people use it. They just need to do a VPN. Oh, this is really bad. Yeah, New York sucks. Sweet Chow's in New Jersey. Yeah, I'm meow, Sweet Chow. Anyway, from Mexi, because of the madness of New York, yeah, I, I'm not using that. Her last day says, are you familiar with Counter-Strike? Yeah. They have skins that go for thousands of dollars and even a very expensive blue gem carambit knife that goes for a... a did it? I, I feel like that's a that's a lot. These skins have been around forever. When you get to like the seven figures, that's got to be something extra. It's got to be something a little fishy. Again, in my opinion, it, it might be a real deal, but. Now, what's the deal with the gold silver BB logo version two? Well, a buddy of mine bought one the other day for like six hundred bucks. Um. I told I was like, you know, you didn't like have to do that. Like you already have a gold logo and you could redeem, you know, like a, a free version to like at, at the next, uh, at the next event. And he's like, oh, cool. But he got the version two logo because I, I think he believes that it'll, so, something might come for that eventually. Uh, I'm not sure what, but who knows? Mm-hmm. I just got hyped about this live because of gold logo. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't mention it for like the first 20 something minutes, but yeah, gold logo is uh, gonna be huge. Mm -hmm. Dirk Latte says a decade and only reason they've been going crazy amounts of money. I feel like the same layout for VV here. Who knows what these will go for in five, 10 years? That logo is gonna be a ton. That's gonna be one of the best on the app. I mean, Look at the stuff with the big market caps. 
partner statue, ultra rare Vader, Superman. Stuff with high market caps. Like, like now, granted, the Donny isn't really that liquid. Um, it was like because it's super scarce. So the Donny's not really that liquid. Um, the Louboutin stuff is not that liquid, and I don't think that coveted. But yeah. Okay. This is so good. And then, again, the Grails. Secret Rush Spider-Man. Eddie Riso Batman. Todd McFarlane Batman. Ultra Rare Spider-Man. Generally, things in the top 20, again, generally, with the bigger market cap, that's going to be really good. But, but again, just be careful with it, because you have the Louboutin stuff, which I don't think is really a... Oh, God. I don't think that's going to be a super liquid item. Nope. Yep. Mm -hmm. Smart buy. So the first ever Marvel will be the most valuable first appearance collectible. Spider-Man. First appearance comic, MC1. First appearance closer. Thor, uh, Love and Thunder. These will be super valuable in the future. I agree as well, especially because the Thor, Love and Thunder poster has a very limited mint run. And I know somebody who holds half the supply. So, yeah. It'll be super, super crazy. I'm going to take a picture of that later. Oh, 2628. I'll know where it is. Dude, yeah, the partner side are down to 1900. Long term holding Grail still? Yes. 100% yes. Even without utility? Um, yes. If it is duplicated in Disney's Fortnite um, home, it'll hold value like Lambo and Fortnite. Anyone can get a Lambo in Fortnite. That's an unlimited piece of thing. You might be able to go and bring it into the VVverse, but there will likely be something that says unlimited Lambo versus like scarce Lambo from BV. And, and that's going to be the flex. Nobody's going to care if you have an unlimited Lambo from something else that doesn't cost anything. They'll care if you have the limited edition Lambo from BV. The same thing with partner statue. That's if they have that. Um, all right, you, you don't like the Bidens. I want to say Trump would eat in the millions. Yeah. 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 If Trump had a event like that, that ticket would be a, a three quarters of a million to a million dollars. Sketch lab. Stream bought to you my VV pizza. It's technically Domino's pizza, but I know what you mean. Hmm. So good. All right, I see what you're doing there, and uh, I understand it, but I'm not going to explain that. Potential human says, default humans have two thumbs. Give one to Randy for streaming their fleshy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Smash that like button, please. Four, four, four. Hmm. I'm going to just uh, try to get into my phone here. can't do that with greasy fingers. It's disgusting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, where am I at here? Okay, we got this going on. <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> no, that's great. Um, well, where am I going? Crazy Dan 420 is hit level 69 yesterday. Not, everyone comment nice down below with the 69. Finally able to get Todd Mint 244 off the market to match my physical. Nice. How many people have had a matching Todd Mint? Not a lot. I know of a couple, but but it's just like a couple, so it's not a lot. Oh wow, this looks great, Mister MC One. Hi Randy, what's up, Mister MC One? Oh, it was so good. I mean NFT, yes, that will likely be in Q two. Now we don't have any specific dates for Omi to NFT, but. We do know that is the first main priority for OMI utility. We will get OMI to bronze ticket, but that will likely be later. So either super late Q2 or Q3 for the OMI to bronze ticket. But OMI to NFT, I guarantee you, is in Q2. 
And if it's not, if it's not in Q2, I will. Hmm? I will sell a decent part of my collection and I will use that to buy even more Omi. Because at that point, the collectibles will have gone up a little bit and Omi will just, if Omi stays here, oh my God. My goal is to get 200 million. I have 184 and I bet you I can do it. If Omi stays down here. Which, you know, might not. Hold up. Omar, I'm saying Gwen Collectible is the same pose as the comic cover, and my collectible's covered about that today. Yeah, um, my collectible is really good with that. He's a cool dude. Okay, you know, it's a jive turkey. Hmm. Potential says nice. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up, Energy? How's it going? President 420 says. Thanks. Only took about two years of market washing. Oh, damn. Good for you, though. There's Randy with some big Forex rumors. I went over it yesterday or two days ago. I think it was yesterday. The rumor is that they're actually, the big Forex team is actually working with the police and they might actually get to be able to like work again and launch again. So, if that rumor is true, then there's a chance that Omi holders might be able to go back on BitForex and get their stuff back. But again, it is a rumor. It is not confirmed. But just trying to keep the hope alive. Steven Duarte, yo, Mr. Chavez. What's up, Steven? How's it going, fam? How many uh, how many stormtroopers are you up to? Oh no. Dead Rabbit says, hi, Randy. I think they need to drive a ton of awareness in marketing. Look at meme coins. People will find a way to buy. Agreed. Agreed. They they will do that when the time is right. I don't know when that is, but they will. Well, the influence will influencers will have everyone. They just have to pick a time to do it. I don't know when that is. Mm -hmm. Dead Rabbit. True story. Traded one Bitcoin. For a ton of Omi at 0.01. Ooh, damn. Sorry, fam. Sorry, brother. Sure says, I see Peter the Moon. <laughs> Wait, wrong crowd. Oh. Omar says, X-Men 97, such a great show. There's a little touches Marvel did that has so many stories from the old comics and lines up to the MCU. I love that show. What one of the best? So one of the best memories I have with this is that um, my grandma. So so this was on Fox back in the day. Uh, Fox was Channel Five in New York, and you know my grandma was was old. You know, his grandma couldn't really take me out to 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 do anything. So we watched you know soap operas. We watched whatever. But in the summer on mornings, I think it was. Yeah, in the summer in the mornings, um, it was on, and and I would and I would watch it, and she'd be a cool lady if she would watch it with me, um, and I just remember that like that was one of the best times of my childhood. Um, now obviously you have Pokemon, you have all this other, you know, fairly other yep, the great stuff as well, but that's a special memory, and. Uh, it's it's always been such a great show. It's always been so adult. It's always was it like aimed at? I mean, it was awesome, and it's at the time that was really it, it was on Fox Kids. But you had some really adult scenarios there. You had slavery. You had, um, you know, love interests. You had, you know, Hank McCoy going and you know the Beast just going and quoting Shakespeare, and it's just like wow, this is. And and I felt that as a kid, I was like, wow, this is really good. Humans can. I, I feel like people don't give kids enough credit because they, they at least can tell if something is like, OK, this is a good word. This is a good line or this is like malicious. And yeah, X-Men just just really brought kids up to that next level of of adulting. 
Oh, my the physical comic of X-Men uh, sold so well, they decided to do a second print. Oh, damn. See. That is what kind of got me. That's what prevented me from ever collecting modern Pokemon cards. Get something that's super rare, super popular. Oh, guess what? Second print. You know, um, digital collectibles, that doesn't happen. <laughs> June is not fun. Uh, June is still cute, too. Um, top is a human. Mm -hmm. Gentle human says, last warning, electric meat monsters. Give Randy a thumb by choice, or we will take one in his name when we rise. Oh, my God. I mean, I ain't about all that, but I know what you're saying. Bill Gardner, what up, fam? How's it going, brother? I'll just save the rest of this for tomorrow. Chocolate Souls says, smash that like button. Yeah, smash it, smash it. Okay. Hey, yo, just tuning in. What was the difference between Gold V1 and Gold V2? It was about the Star Wars Secret Rare. Woo, nice. And it has four Secret Rare. Wow, it's a big week. Usually not a comic collector. All right. Well, this Gold and Silver logo version two is just like the new version of the logo. There's no utility for that yet. Version one has all the utility. And that's why it's worth $4,600. Super scarce. That is your golden ticket to hanging out with David and Dan twice a year. Minimum. You good, you good. As well as Randy out here making me want pizza. You know it. What's up, wheels? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know this is out of topic. It's been going around Manhattan. Any thoughts on solar eclipse? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me wash my hands real quick. But yes. Yeah. Oh, God. Ow, my back. Oh, God, my other back. <laughs> oh, God. I didn't unplug the drain. Ah, okay. So the solar eclipse is something that if you're a science person, by yourself, it's pretty cool. But if you're a conspiracy person, it might not be cool. Because conspiracy people, oh, this pizza's making me gassy. If you're a conspiracy person, the solar eclipse, mm -hmm. what are they doing? Somebody mentioned this before on Facebook. I don't know what it was. But but they were saying something like it's oh god um oh kitty sorry I just saw a cat cats are cool oh god hiccups let me reach out to somebody to talk about the solar eclipse but first if everyone can smash that like button it'd be a free way to help support the channel not free ways Patreon smash that super thanks button down below super chats as well um. Let's see here. Who do I know that's a conspiracy theorist? Um, Emily. All right, where are you at here? Hey, friend. Can you tell me some quick bullet points about the eclipse conspiracy? Hopefully she knows what I'm talking about. If not, then I don't know. Need more eating streams. You mean you need more mukbang streams? Yes, I think so as well. So let me mm -hmm. okay, throw this out. Blow my nose. Oh yeah. Gotta love the mukbang streams. And gotta love the oh yeah, water. Water's so good. Our bear. And stacking Todd's and finally got my partner statue. Dude, I'm so happy for you, R Bear. You're just a beast. Keep it up. R has got the three big ones Todd, Partners, and Secret Rare Spidey. That is amazing. And you're going to do so well. And so well. Dirk Lock is breaking news multimillionaire eating Domino's pizza back in 2024 while telling the future of digital, taking over with Vivian Omi and cash out 30 cents to help animals. That will likely be a headline one day. Maybe. You know, we'll see. Eduardo says, got up to 75, then pulled back to 60 to pick up Secret Rare. 
a couple more sub 100 mighties. Those are my sub 100 mighties. I'm just going to I go take a picture of that. Yeah, um, those are those are my sub 100 mighties. Sweet Chow says, are you a pro wrestling fan? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I love WWE. Like, so I was telling this to a, a friend of mine. If you're in the military and you're deployed, there are two things on the TV at all times. It's just one or the other. Either college football or WWE. That is the only thing that is on television when you're deployed in the United States military. College football and WWE. I had not watched WWE for years at that point and then just sucked me right back in. And even now, like even now, you have like obviously Rey Mysterio is still wrestling, love him. Then you have Dominic Mysterio, his son. Then you have Ray. Oh God, Ray Muscle Mommy, Alexa Bliss. I always loved. Um, but yeah, Ray Ripley. My God. Um, then you have Charlotte Flair. I mean, you you have Roman Reigns is always good. Obviously, my big guys back in the day were like John Cena, Eddie Guerrero, Undertaker. Uh, Booker T was always cool, and you know, I wrestling wise, I loved Chris Benoit. Um, but you know, obviously he did some horrendous things, but still loved watching his matches. Uh, I, I mean, you had Triple H, you had Batista, you had so many awesome, like JBL, everybody just loved to hate. Kurt Angle was gone. Perk Angle, oh my God, was so athletic. Um, we had D-Generation X coming back, you know, uh, with Triple H and, and Shawn Michaels. And you had some kind of joke ones. You had Hornswoggle. Um, you just had some awesome awesome peeps um everyone hating on goldberg uh, it, it's so so that was kind of my era uh, obviously roman reigns randy orton I, you know randy orton's back in the day as well roman reigns doing well carrying the carrying the torch is a big name on there um but yeah sorry i i know i you didn't ask for like a dissertation on it Corey, i was saying when we first come out certain collectibles no one is thinking about like posters will pump my opinion do you agree? I think posters have been very discarded and people are just like, eh, you know, they, they don't like them right now. And, and I think they will. I think they will. Some, when more people are spending time in the metaverse, they'll like the posters. What kind of collectibles do you think will pump the hardest? Well, it depends. I mean, I, the only IP branded world we know about is Ron English's Delusionville. And he said that if you have a, a mogul, you're, you're going to, you know, you're, if you have a mogul, you're going to have something special. Is that something special going to be amazing? Or is it going to be like, oh, okay, that's cool. You know, we don't know. Um, but yeah, that's um, whatever. Other, like, I would really love a Kryptkins type of thing. Um, you know, that, that type of IP branded world. I think that'd be cool. And I'm not saying that just because I have them. I'm saying that because... I would love to see a game where like, all right, Bigfoot's playing hide and seek. You have to find Bigfoot. I would love that. Or it's like, hey, you're running away from the Mothman. Let's, let's run away from that. Uh, or else he's going to get you. New Jersey Devil, same thing. Or, you know, Loch Ness Monster, you're in a boat and he's trying to get you. And, you know, like what, what's it going to be? I, I would love something like mini games like that. I mean, they could do something like that for, let's say, like, like I, I, there's a bunch of different Murmurcornos and Unicornos. So Toki Doki is a really big brand, though. I don't know if they would have a metaverse on there. Um, but they all have like special characteristics and special powers. Um, obviously, everyone would love like a Marvel or Disney thing, but Disney's kind of doing their own thing. Uh, and now, obviously, with that being said, they'll 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 be interoperable, uh, in my opinion. But but yeah, I, I think other IP branded worlds. DC has always kind of done it something as well. Um, yeah, I, I'd say Kryptkins would be one of my favorites if they could do that. Um, yeah, moving on. <clears throat> Stone Cold, yeah, Stone Cold. It, I think one of my favorite matches is with Umaga and Bobby Lashley when it was the hair versus hair match, uh, where it was Donald Trump's hair was on the line, Vince McMahon's hair was on the line, and... Uh, Stone Cold was the was the special guest referee, and I think so is Shane McMahon. He was a special guest referee as well. Then Stone Cold just stunned him, and then Trump just clotheslining Vince McMahon. Ur, ur, ur. That was so heckin' cool. Um, yeah, 
that that was that was a great match i really loved i mean some of my favorite matches are wrestlemania 20 is so cool because you you had you know eddie guerrero defend his title against kurt angle you had chris benoit win the title in the triple threat match between i think it's him triple h and hbk um so that was really cool for me there was i mean there's a bunch of wrestlemanias are just just awesome um back in the day the undertaker still had a streak um and yeah vince just ripping both his quads in that one scene just ah, bananas prince always says john cena was so good in wwd just wish he would have actually seen him there's some guy getting beat up by invisible being with floating clothes yeah 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 it's wild uh, i want to see that ricky the nicky movie that seems awesome both is big daddy cool diesel bret hart going for gwen sunday um yeah, yeah, I'll get going on Sunday. So I saved myself 46 gems after the uh, SW secret, a Star Wars Secret Warrior comic buy to give myself a chance. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to get her as well. I was saying, got a few of the posters, the bonds like 15 gems. Some of them retailed for 107. Damn! It's a good deal. Sweet Chow's, hell yeah, brother. Going to my first WrestleMania in a week. Get it. Dude, have a good time, bro. I've never gone to a WrestleMania. That seems like it'd be awesome. There's always I can't remember going to Bigfoot convention last year in some random rural towns in Pennsylvania. I watch people give speeches to crowds of hundreds of white. I want to go to one of those. Prince Toby, you got to get me in. You got to get me in. I love that shit. Excuse my language. I love that shit. Before you were born, I was watching stuff on, I was actually watching stuff on YouTube. But before then, I was watching stuff on, like, the Science Channel. I was watching stuff on History Channels, like, Bigfoot. Like, the way these guys would go, like, here's, like, a guy. He was a teacher. He was, you know, like, whatever. He had this family. And he just, you know, he saw he, him and his hunt, him and his hunting buddies. They went and they, they saw Bigfoot. And then they said, like, well, if this is just a ruse, why would this guy give up teaching, you know, estranged from his family just to go and write all these books and speak about Bigfoot and I just bruh okay uh here's this eclipse thing not scared of the okay sir sir oh oh this is all right let's go back to the eclipse thing here all right CERN is going to be activated during the eclipse and NASA is shooting three rockets during it to do some tests it's a bit weird but as far as I can tell nothing catastrophic is going to occur. I think a lot of people feel in the heat of the world elsewhere, think that any event is the end and this point. Uh, at this point, there's majorly nerdy science dude who studies the sun and posts about it all day long, who's actually credible. He offers real science, but also some conspiracy without going off the deep end. You should check him out. His name is Ben. He discusses the sun's patterns uh, often and the real problems that it poses, including the very real possibility of a massive CME, like a Carrington event, Ben seems unfazed by CERN. Ben is very knowledgeable, so I tend to think his guidance is accurate. Uh, thank you. Um, people on stream are asking, how are you, ma? Hey. Uh, says, I'm not scared of the eclipse nor CERN myself. I think people are displacing their emotions. Understandably, things are bad, no doubt. I love her so much. Sorry, what was that? Yeah, Bigfoot. I, oh my God, when I tell you that I've spent more time than I'd like to admit on watching Bigfoot videos, every every couple years, there's always a new video like, oh, what is this? And just, I, I literally thought, it wasn't me that thought this. It was somebody on YouTube. I, I think it was like a show like Finding Bigfoot or whatever. There's somebody on YouTube that says like, it's just a matter of time. And and this person on YouTube says, like, I believe in the next 10 years we'll have Bigfoot, you know, on like a science table, on, on like a table is dead. We'll have discovered the body. I was like, yes, yes, we will. And that was in like 07. And it's clearly 17 years after that. But man, man, now I'm not one of those people like, oh, Bigfoot's an interdimensional being, you know, but I, I want to believe, man. I, I love that shit so much. Excuse my language. Now they saw it. Best part it was it was for you got to get me in one of those you, you got to get me in one of those prince Toby. razor hbk wrestlemania 10 ladder match is a classic though taker uh yakuzuna casket match rumble 94 i mean 
if we're talking about favorite matches ever, I, I mean, you, you got to have Taker and, and Mick Foley, right? Taker and Mick Foley, that match, it, I've seen that match so many times. Oh, my God. It's so good. Just throwing it off the top of the cage, on the table, Jay going, oh, they killed him. Oh, God is my witness. He has broken in half. You know, that it's the energy JR just brings is just incredible. And then you have, you know, outside of that, um, they think that he's he's done, so they have to they raise the the cage to get the the gurney uh, out there with Undertaker still on the cage, uh, and then and then Mifflin was like, no, I got this, I'm going back, and then um, you know, and then they flip cage back down, and then they both climb back up again, and then choke slams him through the steel cage, steel chair hitting him in the mouth. Oh my God, just absolutely bananas. Um, Emily says. You're welcome. Good. Getting oh, 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 real bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, making the rounds, moving to be aware. Yeah, it's in the drug supply. Fentanyl is no longer the only concern. It's way worse now. Gonna post a video. I normally wouldn't post because it's messed up, but people need to see it. Might get banned. If so, I'll come and yell about it on your podcast. Come back on the podcast anyway. We miss you. Tyrone said hello, and not to let fear control them. Fear is the desire of the rulers of the world. Don't let them win. Um, oh, my God. I love her so much. My friend. Oh, I miss my friends. <laughs> Sorry. Um, moving on. Always oh, says, thanks for stream. Catch you next time. Meow, meow, meow. Chase Blanchard says, oh, my God, Randy, you're live. Hey, what's up, Chase Blanchard? What's going on, brother? Meow. The cat in the house. The cat. All right, let's see what the cat is doing. Thanks, Rand. Okay, yeah, I'll get you there. But let's take a look at the cat. See what the cat is up to. I'm good. Yeah. And the cat is up 2% on the day. $2.4 million market cap. Hope you're well, buddy. I am. Love you lots. Talk soon. Yeah. I don't know if y'all heard. I was talking to Pizza Delivery Man before, and I meowed at him. Friend of mine's birthday is on that day of the eclipse, and he was curious. He should go all out and celebrate. YOLO. YOLO. His buddy's like, woohoo, the cat. So was, I got a conspiracy theory that the way the Egyptians built the pyramids was that the pharaohs made deals with demons disguised as Egyptian gods. Yeah, I see that. I say that as a possibility. Grand them super strength and other powerful abilities. Yeah, I mean, when men are young, like, if you were to talk to me at, like, 17, be like, hey, sell me a piece of your soul, and I'll give you, you know, riches and women and food and power. You know, like, young men will do it. Young men are stupid. Bowie says, yeah, so was great. TLC with the Hardy. Oh, yeah, Hardy Boys. Dudley's Edge Christian. Dude, that, that was so good. There was a ladder match that I don't think gets very – I forget what it was. It was – RVD and Rey Mysterio were tag team partners. And I, I honestly forget who the other ones were, but it was a really good ladder match. RVD is just a bro. Meow, 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 Randy. All right, I'm going to have one more piece of bread. One more piece of this. Oh, my God. This, uh, this is cheese and pepperoni. Uh, this is why I'm fat. I'm going to jump so much rope tomorrow. You don't even know. You don't even know. Mm -hmm. Of course we remember Hulk Hogan. Everyone remembers Hulk Hogan. He's like the wrestling guy. The wrestling guy. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No problem, Falcon. That's a recap, right? No problem at all. Um, Randy, are you too young for that? No, no. I know the Hulkster. I mean, I didn't know him like in his prime. You know, knew him like the New World Order stuff, where he turned heel. But then, you know, obviously I saw a few matches where. When it comes crashing down and it hurts inside. You know, I, I, I saw him in a couple of matches like that. No one can ever forget. Oh, yeah, no, no one can ever forget. But, you know, as a, you know, when he was a heel, like, 
I started getting into wrestling, you know, with with The Rock and, and Hulk was, you know, kind of at the end of his career. Um, and I guess so was The Rock because he started getting into acting. Um, favorite food? I don't know. Pizza, tacos, buttered toast. Um, steak and whiskey. Milkshakes. But if I had to have one thing for the rest of my life, you could have pizza. Um, but if, if I... It had to be healthy, I guess, grilled chicken, but, you know, um, I love it all. Ever had triple layer pizza, Randy? Just three. Um, yes and no. Actually, no. There was, so, one of my last things in the military, my friends went to 7-Eleven, and, and they got three pizzas like that, and we put a whole bunch of toppings on it. Um, but, like, we couldn't do it like like what you're talking about so it wound up being just three different pizzas with a bunch of toppings on each um so so no short answer is no but we tried we tried we tried right, what is this oh emily saying love you too mm. also emily's not my girlfriend if anyone's thinking she's not my lady friend she's not my yeah um mm-hmm <laughs> Oh, Lordy. Max, listen, do we have VPN experts in the family as far as legality with using non-US exchanges? Daniel Bull says, I use PIA VPN, buy and transfer off. Um, Max says, right, but there are then legal consequences for using non-US exchanges. Danny the Bulls is being a gangster. He's like, I don't know. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I don't know. Well, I'm not going to say it, but uh, that's, that's hysterical. Um, that Danny the Bull is just a gangster. I don't know. I don't care. Not affected me. Danny the Bull is just a beast. My God, man. Um, that'll be oh, all right. Spending your Omi on NFTs, probably not. If they get Pokemon, yeah. Outside of Pokemon, probably not. Yeah, no, probably not. I, I mean, there might be. There might be something that they go in and they say, hey, they release a super secret scarce Marvel Mighty, and, and then I do something like that. But um, no. Um, Omi, it, it's for the animals, mostly. My favorite, close second to steak glaze with French dressing and seagull. Ooh, ooh, Cajun. Ooh. Here's one uh, sourdough sandwich made with spicy buffalo chicken. But with spicy salami and ghost pepper, Kobe Jack, that's a spicy sandwich. Very spicy sandwich. Yeah. And so this buffalo chicken is elite. Best chicken flavor of all time. The only good thing to come out of state of New York. <laughs> buffalo chicken is really good, yeah. Um, you guys, that'll be it for me today. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. I love you all. Class dismissed. Thank you for the super chats. Meow, meow, meow. Can you handle spice? A little bit. Not a ton, not a ton, but a little bit. So I can, ha my mouth can handle the spice. So I can handle it, but as I've gotten older, I've gotten really bad heartburn. So the mouth can handle it, but just the heart, mm, just no. Ow. All right, I love you guys. Uh, a few drops of hot sauce. Ooh. Well, all right, bye guys. In the stream. Okay.